Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I am using this kit from my shop called Clarity. Um, as you can see, I am also in a new planner. So that's super, super exciting. So this here is the Recollections Planner. It is an 18 month planner. It is vertical and neutral and I did get it at Michael's. So if you guys are looking for a different planner option next year, this is such a great one. Um, like this, the format of this, I should say, is very similar to a planner that I used a few years ago that I really did love. Um, the paper quality is not as good. It's still nice, like it's still smooth. It's just a little bit thinner, but um, honestly, it's like, kind of the same weight of paper that I use when I'm using inserts so it's nothing like too shocking for me like I know a lot of people um, have mentioned that it bothers them but I don't know I haven't really had any issues with it and let me see I don't think yeah no there was no bleeding to the other side that was not an issue at all and I just loved how simple it is like everything is where I want it to be like in terms of the headers and where I can put my full boxes the sidebar is like super clean and streamlined um, I love that the month is at the top with the year as well uh, we know that we all have been looking for monthly stickers and <laughs> um, yeah I just think it's so nice that it's already there I like that the dates are like pretty small so I can like wipe them out pretty easily if I need to like if I'm using date covers um, but also I just I also like the font that they used so even if I'm not using date covers that's totally fine um, but in these planners I almost always do and yeah I saw Sherry of Planning Peep share this originally on her Instagram I think and yeah I was like okay this is perfect this is what I'll use for next year and so when I was by Michael's I just went ahead and stopped there and picked one up I wasn't even planning to use it for my videos but um, like I was planning to just take out the six months because I'm a crazy person and was worried that they wouldn't bring out a 2021 version like with like that's just a 12 month um, so I just picked this one up and yeah so I think I'm just gonna fill my videos in here because I also am running really low on my insert pages and obviously I can just print a few more but if I already have this planner why not film in here um, I do want to change out the cover though because it's definitely not my favorite like I don't like it at all it's like this denim like I don't know it's the unfortunate thing is is that this is like one of the only ones that's like a cover that you can't interchange it's like hard bound um, so I don't love that so I'll probably just like cut it out but I have to find a different cover that will work um, but you know I have so much time to worry about that and even then so it's really not the end of the world because like uh, the most important part is the inside of the planner for me um, another thing that I was like kind of worried about I really do love that these have the um, the tabs with the months because when I was thinking about like if I would go into a ring bound I was like oh like everything's going to be undated and I don't have tabs and I don't know I was just kind of worried about it and I love that these ones are like really similar to the planner that I'm in for 2020 but you know it's not that planner so yeah I'm really excited about it um what else there are a few other things I wanted to mention oh yeah um something that I'm like still kind of playing around with a little bit nervous with is the fact that the days are not really like outlined there's just a dotted line in between the days I don't know if that makes sense but if you guys are familiar with the planner you'll know what I mean um, and maybe you can kind of see it here. So it kind of makes aligning things like half boxes a little bit difficult, but um, I don't think I struggled with it too much. Like, I don't think it looks, you know, any different than my other spreads. Maybe it is like, maybe I can't tell because the lines aren't there and maybe it is actually not as aligned, but I think it's totally fine. And yeah, I'm excited to use this. Um, I'm also really thrilled about the fact that it's like a fraction of the price for the other planner that I used like that one I think I would end up paying like 80 or 90 Canadian dollars because the shipping was so expensive it was like $20 shipping and then customs were also usually like $20 the planner itself was like I don't know I want to say like 50 or 60 American dollars which now with the Canadian dollar that's probably like $85 on its own so who knows? So I'm excited. This planner, um, if I remember correctly, was only $25 at Michael's and in the States, it's probably even cheaper. Um, I couldn't use any coupons on it because uh, it's like an everyday, everyday value or whatever they call it. But yeah, 
I think that's kind of all I'll say about the planner. That was like a big rant about the planner, but you know, I know we're all looking for alternatives for next year. So I kind of wanted to give down like my little rundown of what I, you know, thought about it so far. And of course I've only planned like one week in here. So like, I'm not too familiar with it, but yeah, I think it'll be fun to kind of play around with it uh, before moving into it, like as my main planner in January. So, okay, for the actual spread, pretty much everything I used was from the kit. The foiled date dots, the bow ones that you see here, um, are just ones from my, sh uh, from my shop. Um, let's see, I also did actually kind of struggle with the sidebar. I think I left it in. I was going to like edit it out, but I think I ended up just leaving it in. <laughs> um, but I had to shift things around so much because it was kind of like a newer format for me, of course, like of the planner. So I wasn't exactly sure... Um, how to line things up, especially since I haven't had something at the top of the planner like the month in so freaking long. So it did take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with it. And I'll kind of glance back at this week in future to see how I laid it out. Um, I think the bottom washi area is actually also a little bit smaller. Like normally I have space between my two strips of bottom washi. And for this one here, I had to stack them like one right on top of the other, but I think that's totally fine like that doesn't bother me that much um yeah let me know if you have any other questions I'm trying to like let you guys know everything that I <laughs> that I've noticed about the planner but like overall it's super similar will give a very similar effect like way I don't know actually I don't know about like Michaels as a brand but from what I know about the other brand not so hot so a better brand I would assume um and yeah cheaper have I said that already I don't know I think so um, and then what else? Okay, so the dotted overlays for the headers that I used are from Simply Beautiful Plans. I did pull in silver with this spread. I feel like this uh, kit could have gone with like any foil color. I think if you did like a rose gold, it would be really cool as well. Um, kind of more of like a pop of color. Uh, but maybe I'll do that for like my leftover spread if I remember <laughs> to think of that. Um, and then I also did pull in some like mini... Uh, twinkle overlays that are from my shop kind of in the sidebar and on where I put like the weekend banner like the deco piece there I put one there too um, and I think that's it so let's get into Monday so the first thing that I'm marking down on Monday was a workout I used a small half box from the kit as well as this shoe sticker that was from a freebie from bloom paper studio um, this day uh, a few planner friends and I decided to start the Chloe Ting two-week challenge um, I did about two days and that was it <laughs> um, I think they're still doing it so amazing so proud of them but um, I did not succeed. I also feel like it was just like a little too much for me to go from working out literally zero, like not at all, not consistently, nothing, to go to like a two week challenge where you work out like almost every day and it's like half an hour, a lot of jumping and a lot of uh, up and down and things like that. And it was just like, no, I was like dreading it. <laughs> I want to say every day, but like, come on, even day two, I was like, nope, you know what? I'll do this every other day. And um, that did not last either. So I'm sorry, but that's fine. Um, the thing I marked underneath that was that I was working on listing photos. Um, so I used an arrow from the kit with the laptop icon from my shop. And then, oh, this was the day that Rachel and I had our plan with me collab and Rachel of Gathered Plans. If you guys watch plan with me is like, I'm sure you guys know who she is because I feel like everyone talks about her because she's like the PR girl right now. Um, so it's, yeah, so cute. And we had our Plan With Me collab go up that day. And so I used a um, sticky note box from Saucy Stickers Co. with the YouTube icon from the kit. And then I went to sleep really early this day. So I marked that with a sleeping Ava from my shop as well as this hexagon from the kit. And then Tuesday... I um, marked down that it was payday. I used the payday script from my shop. I love that font so much. Like I love how the new scripts in my shop look. I'm so happy with them. Um, and I did put that on top of a flag from the kit. And then I had a doctor's appointment over the phone. Um, and so I marked it with a half box from the kit as well as the cell phone bow icon from my shop. Um, and then I actually also really love these phone appointments because I used to hate going into the doctor's office when I had like 
a small, simple thing to ask. And yeah, like they would never answer it over the phone because I think they like don't get paid for it or something. But now they do. So now there's like so many doctor's appointments over the phone. And yeah, it's so nice. So love that. And then I worked on formatting sheets again this day. So I used a label from the kit with another one of the bow icons, the laptop ones. I used a bunch of those this week for like marking um, work stuff. And then in the evening, Yanni and I did go to Blaze Pizza. Um, that was the first time that either of us, or no, I think he's tried it before and it was my first time having it. And it was really good, but it was really funny because we like could not find where to park. And then, yeah, it was just like a whole mess. We like found some underground parking, um, but then we like couldn't figure out how to get back out to get to the street to find Blaze again. And it was a mess, but thankfully we found it. Um, but to mark it, I used a couple sticker from my shop as well as this pizza icon that's from Tasseled Planner, who's no longer open. And then Wednesday, I marked down that it was Canada Day. I used a half box from the kit as well as this little balloon icon sticker from my shop. Um, and then I also used a little divider flourish from Silver Antler Co. And I believe her shop is no longer open, but I think she has printables. I'm not sure or I know she did have printables. I don't know if she does anymore, but yeah, check her out because I think those are super cute. And then I worked on orders. I just packed a bunch of them. So I used these like mailers and boxes to mark that. I don't mark my or I don't pack my stuff in boxes, but I do in mailers and I thought it still worked. And then afterwards, I did do Chloe Ting day two, my last and final day, unfortunately. <laughs> but I used a flag from the kit as well as another one of the shoe stickers that's from Bloom Paper Studio. And then I placed a massive order from Crafts by Towie because she was having a sale and I think she hadn't been open in a while. Um, and so I needed everything, of course. Like her um, icons are some of my favorites, the foiled ones. I just think they're so cute. And I like bit the bullet and decided to get the, I think it was called the I have an icon for that bundle, which means that you get like the variations of like all 10 volumes. You get like the samplers for it. Um, and I got it in all three foils. So I'm glad to have all of them, but I hope she does come back out with the singles sheets um, of all the volumes because I already have some that I need to restock. Um, but to mark it, I just used some stickers from the kit. And then in the evening, um, Yanni and I were watching Handmaid's Tale. So I used a quarter box from the kit with a TV bow icon from my shop. And then Thursday was really fun because I finally released my new logo. And you guys were so freaking nice. Holy crap. Like you guys were so nice about the rebrand. I was like, I don't know, I was so shocked. Everyone was so sweet and I was so excited to finally show you guys. And yeah, you can like see it obviously in this video, but yeah, thank you so much. And like the whole rebrand went over so well. I was so worried about it, but you guys are the best, of course. So to mark posting the new logo, I used that same washi sticker from Saucy Stickers Co., and then I had a plan with me go live this day. So I used um, a YouTube uh, play button icon as well as some deco from the kit. And then I marked that I played Animal Crossing this day with a Nintendo sticker. Um, I have these in my shop, but they are smaller in my shop. These are just like larger ones that I made for, for myself in the meantime before I like formatted the whole sheet. So I do have some bigger ones. Um, and then I also worked late this day because uh, the next day was super exciting. Um, but I, to mark working late, I used a half box with another one of the laptop icons. And then Friday was the day that I was doing my rebrand and like posting everything and showing you guys. And, you know, the, sh the whole shop went, you know, live again. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to mark that kind of like big and exciting. So I used two third boxes stacked vertically to kind of make, you know, take up some more room and make it like a bigger moment. And then I also used this girl on her laptop. I would have used like the girl with the balloons, but um, the like sheet had only girls with like colorful balloons. I think there's like, or actually maybe there is a gray balloon. I don't know why I didn't use that one then. Not sure. Um, but whatever, I went with this. And then my dad and I did run some errands this day. I really wanted to buy a TV for my room because I'd never had one. And I just wanted like a smart TV where I don't have to like think about it. No HDMI, no... Um, what are those things called where you can get like your phone to mirror your, your TV or other way around? 
Um, so yeah, we went to Best Buy, looked around. They had like no smaller TVs in stock at all. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then Michael's was right beside the Best Buy. So that's when I went in, got this planner and some other things as well. And then afterwards we went to Costco and that's where I found the TV. So that's been really fun. I've been watching Modern Family like crazy. Um, but to mark those tasks, I just used some of the mini bows from my shop. And then to mark the new TV, I did use a quarter box with a TV icon from my shop. And then Saturday, I did some work. So I used an Ava at her desk with the work script um, that was in my shop, but it's no longer available. And then we went and this day was really fun. It, we had like a girl's day. So my friend had been wanting to get her lips done for a while. <laughs> um, so we went with her. She got her lip injections. Not for me, but um, yeah, they looked really cute on her. So I was really happy for her. So to mark it, I used a flag from the kit with an alarm clock bow icon and then afterwards we went and had some dinner or I guess it was kind of more lunch and drinks and that was really fun so I used a half box with a wine glass icon from my shop and then Sunday um, at the top of the day I marked that um, I went to go pick up some macarons and flowers for Yanni's mom because it was her birthday um, and like the last time that I saw her, she was telling me how much she loved macarons and I was like, okay, perfect. I will do that. <laughs> Thank you for the note. <laughs> um, so yeah, I marked it with a car icon from my shop, uh, with a quarter box. And I also did use one of the new dividers, the leaf banner ones to take up a bit of room there. Um, for her birthday lunch, I used a third box with the, um, birthday icon from the kit because of course it was perfect. And then I marked that I had a plan with me go live at the end of the day there. So I used another one of the play buttons with some deco. And then I also used another one of the uh, dividers or flourishes from Silver Antler Co. Because I wanted to take up a bit of room there and I thought it was cute. And usually if I use like dividers, I like to have them on both sides of the spread. Like it doesn't all, like always work out. Like obviously the one I have at the top of Sunday, I don't have on Monday through Wednesday, but that's totally fine. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.